everyone and welcome to another A Thousand Ways tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to convert an image into a built-in shape here in InDesign. Now in previous videos, I've shown you two different ways of creating custom shapes using both the pen tool and the shape tool such as the ellipse. Be sure to check those videos out, the links are in the description below. Now we'll start off by creating a new document by simply going to File, New, and selecting Document, or you can use the keyboard shortcut of Command or Control N. Now I have a document already made up here, and I'll just simply grab that. And if you wish to know the document setup I'm using, then simply refer to the description below. Now I'm going to place my desired image within my page. To do so, I'll go to File and click Place, or you could use the keyboard shortcut of Command or Control D. Now once that's done, I'm going to grab my image here and simply click Open. And my image is pretty huge, so I'm just going to click off the page here. And as you can see, it pretty much fills most of the page. By the way, this page is 8.5 by 11. So now, I want to either resize this image or just create my shape. So for now, I'm just going to turn this image into my desired shape. So I'll do so by bringing up my Pathfinder options here. If Pathfinder is not available within your workspace, simply go to Window, Object and Layout, and select Pathfinder. Now you see a section here called Convert Shape. Simply have your image selected and select the shape you wish for it to turn into. Mine in particular would be the lips. Now I don't want an oval shape, I want it to be a circle. So I'm simply going to resize this frame here to my liking. And I'm holding down the shift while I do so, so it doesn't distort the shape here. So now that that's done, I'll simply drag this side over to create my circle. And that's pretty decent, so we'll just bring it over a bit. And now you see we only can see a leaf of our image, but we want our butterfly sitting on flowers to show up. So I'll simply grab my direct selection tool, or you can press A on your keyboard, and you can simply drag your image to wherever you want it to be. Now since my image is so huge, I'm going to resize it now by going to the corner here and as you can see our cursor turned into this two arrow icon and I'm going to hold shift and resize my image within the frame and just simply drag it on over. So I'll resize it again because it's still a little too big and I'll bring my image over to the desired area. And now you can see my butterfly sitting on flowers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next A Thousand Ways tutorial.